word up. I'm taking a video of the clouds rolling. Oh, are you really? Uh-huh. Oh, this is the voice <laughs> of God. Matt. Get off my mountain. <laughs> this is my mountain. No, this is my mountain. <laughs> There goes Dad down the mountain. Don't come over here. No, but Matt, stop. <laughs> Camera loves Matt, me. Stop shaking my arm. Say hi to Kelly. Hi. Say hi to Kelly. We're on Vesuvius. I got, oh, I got some Taking a video. No, I'm waiting for you to do funny dance moves so I can take a picture. Say, play that funky music. Wow. I'm gonna get you back home. That happens in Italy all the time, Matt. It's just something you have to deal with. You gonna sing for us? In a minute. <laughs> You're taking a video. Look, there's the old man. Are you taking a video? Is it have the little eye? Are you? <laughs> Would you like to know? Okay, yeah, you are. You're just... <laughs> Hello. We're... Hey, hey, hey. We're in Siena. I wanna go home. <laughs> nah, just kidding. This is cool. Pizza, though. <laughs> I'm sick of pizza too. Oh my I'm god. I'm sick of pizza. It's pretty here. Right, but I'm sick of pizza. Hey, that guy has a bear in his ass. <laughs> Epic fail. Leaning tower. Epic fail. Hey, Matt. Nicholas Nidio. Follow me, sir. What are we doing? Tell me. What do you think? What would you uh, conclude uh, about the architects who uh, built this? Absolutely fucking retarded. So. Okay, so let me give you the let me give you a brief history let for me, you. Let me give you a little brief history. All right. So they built the first three floors, including the base, including the base. Yeah. And then someone said, "Hey, does that look a little crooked to you?" Correct. The and guy, the answer? Yes. <laughs> the guy goes, oh. "So he doesn't want to be the dumbass that built the half tower, so he leaves, but they don't take it down. They leave it up for a hundred years until some other jackass comes up and says, "Hey, I bet I can fix that by putting three more stories tilting the other way." So, yeah, that didn't work. So now the thing is six stories high. Then that guy realizes he was a dumbass too. So he leaves. So then another hundred years later, some jerk off him with the last name. Uh, what? I don't remember. Pisa. It might have been Pisa. No, that's the name what? of the town. Right. It was in the Rick Steve book. Okay, oh, so hail Rick Steve. Some other dude comes up and says, okay, I bet I can finish that. So he puts three more stories going the other way. So it's uh, a freaking two. Z inside. It's not... I eight it was, stories total. Okay, it's eight stories. He puts another story, two stories, leaning the other way. So it's like a Z inside. And the Jackass puts a top on it. So you got to think, well, they took all these other buildings, uh, they're leaning a little. Like, what made them so retarded? you got to think, Larry. See? So a lot that of building over there is leaning a little a lot of these buildings, side. A lot of these buildings they took down and rebuilt. you got to think, were they just sitting around with their thumb up their ass for 300 years trying to figure out what was wrong here? What the heck, Pisa? Fail. Here we are at the Leaning Tower of Pisa, waiting to go up in line. And if we stand here, it almost looks like the tower is falling on us. Kelly, you need, to, you need to knock it off with this video stuff. So I don't have a new history lesson for you about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Talk to me when we're in Venice. Totally looks like it's falling on us, though. I can't tell if it will on the video.
God, that would suck. Four we later, can. when we're at the top of the leaning tower. Climbing the, uh, planting, the leaning tower of Pisa right now. 180 something. Stairs. 180 something stairs. Out of 300. So, you know it's messed up when you're falling uphill. Like you're climbing an up staircase, but you're falling down. It doesn't right. sound like you can work. How are you doing back there, old man? Oh, uh, just ducking. <laughs> How's your knee? Fabulous. Never better. Jesus Christ. I can say that around here. I'm not hanging around anymore. Alright. We're not done yet. We're not? Nah, dude. This is just a... Just a stop point. He's uh, here uh, waiting five minutes and then you want to go to the top. He's going to tell us when we get to the top. <laughs> Wait five minutes and we'll go to the top. So, uh, it's all slanted. <laughs> so what I'm starting to wonder is the entire town is slanted. But they just don't realize it from this angle. It's possible. So now time for another history lesson. I don't have one. I would just like to say one. Thinking. What's the point of this? Like, why would you just build a giant tower with just a staircase in the middle? There's nothing. I don't know. In it. It's been like another hundred years. It's time to add some more floors there's to nothing, try to fix it again. There's nothing in it. There's just stairs. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's cool, but I feel like I'm gonna fall up, which doesn't make any sense. <gasps> okay, that was just a step, not Shut actually up, moving stuff. So. I'm gonna push you over. Hey guys, this tower is leaning. Good. Look, look, you can see it going down. Ooh, it's that way. Ooh. Did that work? Did I get my hand in there? Yeah. yeah. That was cool. Uh, Definitely going down. Okay. More later. Tiny, 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 narrow staircases. Are you taking a video? Nope. You should. I am. I have a problem with heights, so this is like freaking me out. Oh. So, Dear God, this is cool. This is cool. Watch your head. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Here we are. Don't fall. We're not allowed to touch the bells according to Steve. We don't walk under the bells according to the sign. Well, what can you do with the bells around here? Nothing. So you can so. also see this building over here is also leaning. Yes. And so is the one over there. While we were walking up, we heard someone said... I would just like to put a giant fail stamp on yeah. this city. Someone said, doesn't look that crooked to me while we were coming up. Yes. No, 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 no. What, what the hell? View so. from Pisa. Hey, let's check that out. A stadium. Is it leaning? <laughs> Everything nah. else in this city is. Nah, I think that's like unfair for like it's a soccer. I think it's a soccer. Yeah, it's a soccer stadium. They don't do right. real. They don't do real sports over there. Here we go. All right, Marco. The bell. Yeah. The view from Pisa. Yes. So far in Pisa, no so sights of bears and asses. So somebody, yeah. Ah, thankfully, some that was uh that was on Mount Vesuvius. The, yeah, if you've the, seen uh, our volcan- other videos, you know what we're the talking volcan- about. The volcano that killed all those thousands of people. That's now a tourist attraction. Yeah. I didn't make it. Bye bye Pompeii. Um. Yeah. Really. When we went down there. We saw bodies that were like. Weirdos. Can we go off this? Oh, where's Dad? We're at the top. I don't think so either. Let's go get the old man. Look, the flag of 
freaky. Yeah, see, I'm not a fan of this. It's a little freaky. I do well with heights, especially when they're tilted. And slippery. <laughs> yeah, really. And it looks like all the, all the little steps have ass grooves, like someone's been sitting in it for 2,000 years. Speaking of which, I think I just accidentally filmed yours. <laughs> not right now. Get that, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Italy. Okay, no more going up from here. Flag of failure. You get RUT right now. This little man again. Oh, look! See. Pretty sunflower fields. So now you can see that the entire country Way over there. Look at sunflower fields. It's actually tilted. This go. tower is okay. straight. Here we go. Entire country of Italy. This tower is straight. Yep. Entire country. Just tilted. <laughs> Fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> Fanny packs are no. We saw this one dude in a speedo with a dis with a coach Fanny pack, like a designer the coach to Fanny pack. Listen to his iPod with wires. And this was not something. Oh, okay. and he was wearing a little black speedo. And this was not something okay. I wear my speedo all I the can't time. Can't wait to get back to the beaches in the U.S. where people don't wear speedos. At least not the old dudes. No guys should wear speedos. If you're watching this and you're a guy and you wear a speedo, I'm sorry. You said about pizza. We came. We leaned. We leaned. We left. Fail. What the heck, pizza? Those are summary comments from the Heinz family on so their pizza trip. So just a recap on a sort of summary in case you're only going to watch this video. So. Dumbass has basically left the tower unfinished for 300 years each. Dude, dude, like three they already saw the history video. Uh, now what? You uh, fail. Yeah. Oh, Minerva has been in the trunk all day. It's Minerva, she's Minerva. Italian. <laughs> that guy was just listening to us talk about our Minerva stuck in a trunk. Should we give her some water? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, she doesn't do well with water. Yeah, she doesn't need water. <laughs> We should at least let it's her our GPS Italian, which we thought got stolen this morning. But it was. But it didn't. It was in the, it old was, man just didn't look hard enough. It was in the little compartment. You know that little thing that you pull up between the two seats. Yeah. He even stuck his hand in there. Yeah. Fail. There he is. It's, it's not his fault. Pisa makes people fail. How I just walked into the wall. Hey Matt, didn't you look in there and say it was empty? No, I looked. Yeah, in the you did. Box. You looked in there. I didn't look in there. You two both looked in there. Oh well. Hopefully Minerva is there when we get back. Well, uh, we might come back to you in the car a little bit if we're bored. We got Maybe. about, what is it, know. seven hours? I don't know, a million hours. We're on our way to Venice now. It's like seven, we're walking the car seven to, go to Venice. and nine hours. Seven, uh, nine if we go the speed limit. So six, hopefully. Six to seven if he goes 90 or over to 100 again. If Minerva works, you'll get a video from Venice. Italians are, by the way, are fucking crazy when you're driving. Yeah, These maybe we'll film like, some Italian driving, but for now, ciao. Go watch you say we're a bit lost? I don't know what to say. We're on some little work road in the middle of nowhere on top of a mountain in Italy. We're supposed to be going to Venice. It's like the biggest town in Italy. And we can't find it. It's not at the top of a mountain. And our GPS <laughs> takes us up here. Because we found it. What the heck? Tom, Tom, dum, dum. <laughs> Stupid Italian Tom, Tom. Well, more later, nice photo when we get to Venice. Yes, at least the view is nice. Science family here, 11.30 p.m. We made it. <laughs> finally made it to Venice. We finally made it down the mountain after the car almost fell apart. <laughs> and we almost got hit by like four trucks going the wrong way on a one-way road. Or maybe we were going the wrong way because there was four of them. Oh, and at one point we're driving along and all of a sudden apparently there's the new highway and our GPS Minerva <laughs> didn't know about the new highway. 
So she told, we're driving along, we're like, hey, and it, there's oh. the Venice exit. And then like two minutes later, it tells us to turn right on a road that doesn't exist it because we were, we're on a new road. It thought we were in the ocean and then the field. So then we're driving around for like a half an hour when our dad's all like ticked off. Cause oh, we can't, he was pissed. He was so pissed because we couldn't find a way to get home or to Venice. And then once we finally got to Venice, we couldn't return the car. Because we're on a freaking island. <laughs> yeah. And, and the there only are way to no get cars there, on this island. The only way to get island. there is take a boat. And that's really hard when you need to return a car on a boat. Yeah. They get very angry when you try and pull the car on a boat for we people. Didn't, we didn't try it. We didn't try it. Yeah. But if we had... They would have gotten ticked. But now we're here, and then we had to try to find our hotel, which was a fun experience. Because I mean, no one wrote easy. down the address. Which there aren't really addresses because there aren't really roads. Yeah, the whole streets are flooded right now because it's high tide. What were they thinking? <laughs> the middle of the city is flooded. So, like, the way Venice works, in case you don't know, is, like, there are no roads. It's all rivers. So, like, when you want to go somewhere, you get in a boat and you go. So it's like there are or you all, walk. All the roads are in the same place except they're water. So, you got to think, like, what were people thinking? Hey, there's an ocean. Let's build a town in the middle of it. Take a left on River San Diego and then go right on the other river. And I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, and... I don't understand. It, so, like, the streets flood, like, four times a day. And there's, like, yeah. restaurants, like, that ch they just don't use that section outside anymore. According to Rick Steves, Venice floods over 100 times a year. Rick Steves is starting to piss me off. I love Rick Steves. I know, but... I can't wait to get home and get on Facebook and become a fan of Rick Steves. I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's do it. That's peer, absolutely... Peer pressure! Peer pressure! I will peer throw pressure. you out that window. Right <laughs> you in, can't open it. Right I into, tried. Right into the river. That window doesn't open. I'll throw you right, right into locked. the river It's locked. The handle's street. all broken. It's Troy's fault. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Troy. Troy, we've blamed every single thing on this trip about you. We even have like nine Italian people that now think Troy is an American insult. <laughs> Why did you make it rain in Rome, Troy? Yeah. Troy. Oh, wait. Troy, you're tr what's it? Was it? You're such a Nord, yeah, Troy. You're such a Nord, Troy. Such a Nord. You're such a Pisa Nord. <laughs> I don't know about Pisa, but he's totally a Nord. Yeah, he's such a Gosh. Nord. So we finally. Hey, wait, wait. That guy with the window has a bear in his ass. Matt, chasing pigeons. I win. Matt won pigeon zero. Matt versus Venice pigeons. <laughs> Ooh, round two. All right, do it, Matt. I don't know. Might not have. What is your thing against these pigeons, Matt? What made you decide to... I don't know. I mean, there's way too many. Huh? There's way too many. Too many I mean, pigeons. I mean, this just looks absolutely like... Ooh, that's pretty. Look down there. Okay. So now Kelly's history lesson. There are no people in Venice. I mean, there are, but it's all tourists. There are more tourists on any given day in Venice than there are real people. Like, you know, Venice people. It's freaking expensive. And hi out there. And <laughs> it costs like a million dollars to rent an apartment for a year. It's crazy. Yeah. Wait, so well, tell them about the population thing. It's going down. A lot. About 5,000 people a year. Yes, 5,000 people a year. Because no one can afford to live here. These people don't want to look at you on camera. They want to look at me on hey, camera. I'm giving a history lesson. It's my turn. All right, keep going. Okay. Mine is better. And so there, and then, you know, it's a freaking island, and there are no ropes. You guys get out of the way. Dad, what are you doing? You're being a weirdo. <laughs> and, um, they're, the only way they, they used to have these giant, like, wells that well, they would collect rainwater, and that's how they got water here, but now they got a aqueduct in the water. See that? Taking pictures. That's all he's done this yes. entire trip. Old man just takes pictures because he's old, and otherwise he won't remember <laughs> yeah, it. He'll forget the trip. He will. You can't zoom in on video, that's lame. You can't, but you would have had to do it from the start. See, check it out, see. Here's the ocean of Venice. Yeah, that's the ocean. These are the river roads I was telling you about last night. Boy, don't drop my camera. Whoa! That's Kelly, she's probably gonna break the bridge. Over there, see, that's like connects a little bridge. Surprised she hasn't broken it yet. Old man's gonna take my picture now. 
Oh, I want my picture taken. I'm going up there too. Okay, back in in Venice, and Matt has another little history lesson for us. How's it going? This is, uh, we have only a couple days left here, and I just thought I'd give you another history lesson. See the statue of George Washington up there. Move closer. Uh, something a lot of people don't know about George Washington is that when he was, uh, everyone knows that famous picture where he's on the top of the boat and he's got his patriots behind him to crossing the Delaware River. Well, he was actually going from Delaware to Venice. So they were just so impressed with him that they decided to make a statue of him here in Venice. Obviously, he's got a little bit of a pimp lean king. You know, he's just walking his streets, you know. Um, yeah, it just shows how awesome America is. If you would like to see my belt buckle, I got hey, this. That's awkward looking down there. Yeah, that is. You like it. Um, I'll, I'll show it to you again later. Did you get it? Yeah. All right. Well, there, there's probably gonna be a picture on Facebook because it's just that awesome. USA. I really kind of want to go up there and put it on him. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So there's George Washington, president of Italy and, and the world in America. So God bless America. Yeah. USA. History with Matt. Anne's family here, last day in Venice. This is our gelato eating spot after we get the yummiest gelati ever. It is pretty good. Freaking awesome. We've had it twice a day. I've had gelato two or three times a day since we got here. Doctor's orders, my doctor told me to have gelato every day. Yeah, I'm a fatty. <laughs> it's the yummy stuff. She broke the boat we were on. I did not. I did not. But no, nah, but the dude looked worried when you got on. So I stay in Venice, and we go we're going home. home tomorrow morning at like dark 30. I'm real thrilled about that. We have to leave the hotel at like six before they even start serving breakfast. They have yeah. some. This is the best breakfast we've had. No, nah, dude. Yeah, that orange no. juice machine is so good. No, he's it's the wrong. best orange juice. I'm sorry, he's a little dumb. Check out my new bag. Matt thinks he's cool because he got, got a Ferrari bag. I got a Ferrari bag. It's pretty cool. And I also, I also got a, a cool Venice Hard Rock uh, hat. Those of you who know me, I collect Hard Rock shirts, so I got one from Rome and Venice. So oh, wait, wait. I'm, I'm pretty stacked. There's, There's the gummy the gelati, gelati place over there. Best gelati in all of Venice, says Rick Steves. And he's right. It's yummy gelati. But wait, there's more. Oh. That was in honor of Billy Mays. Yeah, if you've been enjoying our videos, you can spend uh, 19.95 to get the full set, and um, you can call three wait, payments of 19.95. Call now. We'll cross out the first payment. And uh, wait, there's more. The US Airport. That's board. I flight back to DC. We had a pretty, we had a pretty uneventful travel morning until about 45 minutes ago when we were asked to come through customs in Paris and. I forgot my passport and my boarding pass on the plane, and we had to, to have go to someone desk. go get it, and they almost didn't find it. It was, it was fun, wasn't it? This lady had to go like run back to the plane and go get it, and then when we get we get we finally got the passport, and we have maybe like 20 minutes to board the plane, so we're like okay, so we're walking pretty fast, and then we get to security. We really, we didn't think we'd have to go through security again because we just came from a flight. Hey, Dad, over here. Um, <laughs> And then we got in the security line, and it was a massive line, absolutely huge. It's going kind of slow, and then it started to speed up. But we weren't going to make it, because it kept just curving and curving. And then at one point, this dude, this nice guy, just let us in randomly out of the crowd. Just let we us found through. two nice French people. Just let First us class of our flight this morning? I think so. Yeah, so they just let us through, and now we've made it to our plane at East 76 after we sprinted basically what was supposed to be a 7 to 8 minute walk, 7 to 10 minute walk, and we basically ran. We did it in like 2 minutes, high five. Heinz, we're athletic. Wasn't that fun, Dad? Oh, that was a blast. Yeah. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> no problem. We should have Kelly. Hey, at least I didn't lose Minerva. <laughs> I think yours is the boat ahead of the trip, Kelly. So no matter what you say, I'm still going to believe that. <laughs> Don't, that's not funny. There it is, guys, right there. <laughs> Wait, did I give you mine or yours? I gave you yours. Yeah, Dude, look how me. young I look in that picture. Name. Look, look, I look naked in my passport picture. That's gross. All right. Well, what row are we in? Probably um, the last one again. 45. All right. Well, 
this is probably gonna be our last video age. Now we'll make one on the plane coming home. I probably not. I think we have so. 12 hours. <laughs> Eight or nine hour flight. Okay, we have to go get in line to board, so peace out.